Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Young and the Restless. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. Celebrate Young and Restless 51st Anniversary with a photo album that's full to brimming with rare images and indelible memories. In episode no. 1, waitress Sally McGuire sighed, kind of a drag, isn't it, stuck in a place like Geno City. Oh, anything but Sally. Festive photos from young and restless 50th anniversary party. Love, laughter, and reunions galore. It all began with a tall, dark, and handsome stranger arriving in the tiny town of Geno City, Wisconsin. Through his eyes, we would meet the locals, including a newspaper publisher and his three daughters, a doctor and the women between whom he was torn, and a manicurist who yearned for a better life that seemed just beyond her well-tended talents. Of the people we met when the young and the restless debuted on March 26, 1973, only that ambitious beautician continues to recur today, although like those of us who were watching then, she's changed quite a bit. Gone are her days of buffing nails and imagining what it would be like to live in a mansion on the hill. In fact, now just about every member of Jill Foster's family has a mansion to call their own. Or at very least a penthouse. Hard as it is to believe, there was no Victor Newman when the show debuted. In fact, we would not actually be introduced to the self-made millionaire until seven years into the show's run. Even Catherine Chancellor, whose presence still looms large over Genoa City despite the fact that both she and portrayer Jean Cooper are no longer with us, would not be introduced until nearly eight months after the soap's debut. No, in the beginning, before we began calling daily upon the Abbott and Newman clans, Geno City was populated by the upper-middle-class Brookses and the struggling to get by Fosters. Their two worlds would be brought together when the ridiculously handsome Bill Snapper, Foster, fell for impossibly naive Chris Brooks. The rest, as they say, is history. Fifty-one years of it, as a matter of fact. On this momentous occasion, celebrate the show's anniversary by taking a peek into our massive photo of rare images and bittersweet memories from young and restless earliest days to its most recent. As Young and Restless launches a mystifying Phyllis reset, here's what's asterisk really asterisk going on. For some time now, the Young and the Restless has left us scratching our heads where its writing for Phyllis is concerned. Young and Restless tease up a Sharon crisis we never saw coming, and neither did she. First, the show had her upend her relationship with Jack by going off the rails over Diane's return. Then, the show had her traumatize her kids by playing dead as part of one of the most cockamamie revenge plots we've ever seen hatched. Then, the show had her throw herself at Danny, in who she had expressed zero lustful interest in decades. Then, the show had her throw herself at Nick, because what? She was down in the dumps, seriously, WT8. Our best guess is that the powers that be are launching a reset of the character, one that allows her to regain her sense of self-worth and her smarts. Before building Phyllis back up, we figure young and restless wants to bring her down, way down. And this silly renewed crush on Danny is pretty far down there. Are you saying you don't want to put a rock on my finger? We'll grant you that Phyllis has always been an unpredictable live wire. But until Diane's resurrection, she had also become stabler and savior. She's not some JV vixen still learning the ropes, she'd have died in the wool conniver par excellence. So the half-baked shenanigans she's gotten up to have seemed out of character for the shrewd dynamo that she's become. On the other end of this storyline, we can only hope that the Phyllis that emerges is one that honors the journey that she's taken from desperate and scheming to confident and formidable. We still want her to stir the pot, of course we do. But we would love for her to do it like a character who had learned from her mistakes and is all the more dangerous and enticing because of it. Sound good to you? Review the below photo gallery for a crash course in all things Phyllis. Young and Restless Preview Claire catches the eye of someone new. And, it's going to throw a spoiler for a loop. Young and Restless Claire has barely settled in at the ranch as the Newman family's newest member, and she's already set to make waves in Geno City and launches a mystifying Phyllis reset. Here's what's asterisk really asterisk going on. Claire arrived in town with a dark agenda aimed at destroying the family she had been raised to believe has abandoned her. But after a failed attempt at murdering them, it's now all water under the bridge. Claire, who is really Eve Howard, the child that Cole and Victoria grieved as an infant, has a whole new life in front of her as an accepted member of the wealthy Newman clan. And, while all the focus thus far has been on what she'll do career-wise, what viewers really want to know is who will she become romantically involved with first. Well, 
We may be about to find out. While well, all signs pointed to a Claire and Kyle hookup, thanks to her magical ability to put a smile on the troubled Harrison's little face, a new young and restless teaser for the end of this week indicates that Claire will catch the eye of someone new. Considering there are few eligible men on the canvas currently for Claire to catch the eye of, and that she's already met Nate and Kyle, it's not hard to figure out who the someone new might be, and any way you slice this, Claire's cousin Summer ain't gonna like it. Why? Because the man who becomes enchanted with Claire just may be Summer's new lover, Chance. Not only would a Chance slash Claire connection upset Summer for the obvious reasons, but Nick's daughter has recently been established as one of the Newmans who will be anti-Claire given her reaction to the events in the lake house. Prior to hearing the whole sordid tale, Summer was considering Kyle's suggestion that they ask Claire to be Harrison's new nanny, but she did a total about face after discovering that Claire had lured her grandparents, father, and aunt to what was supposed to be their deaths by poisoning. If Chance takes a shine to Claire, it's going to cause serious tension between him and Summer. Just as it would if Kyle decides to go ahead and let Claire spend time with Harrison despite Summer's reservations. In fact, Claire catching Chance's eye could signal that young and restless writers are setting up a messy quadrangle. Of course, the spoiler could be a clever tease about the role of Harrison being recast, hence the someone new, but either way, Summer is going to be the person left with her nose out of joint. Let us know what you think of the developing Summer vs. Claire rivalry in the comments. But first, join us in celebrating Y and R's 51st anniversary by perusing the photo gallery below. Come back to our channel for all your updates. Thank you for watching.